Enrico Fermi attended the Pocono Conference in 1948, and in particular he was impressed by uh, Julian Schwinger's lecture. So when he came back to Chicago, where he was working, he assembled his uh, group of um, uh, professors and students, and they spent many hours during several weeks trying to decipher what uh, Schwinger was talking about. After a few weeks, uh, someone asked, uh, did Feynman also speak at this conference? And those who attended the conference uh, said, oh, yes, yes, he did. But nobody could re remember what he actually talked about. All they could remember was that he was putting um, a funny notation with a slash through a P. This is a, a short notation which is quite handy because most of the time um, the gamma matrices appear uh, with another Lorentz 4 vector. So keep in mind that we are using Einstein uh, summation convention, therefore we have a sum over mu. So there are four gamma matrices and combined together they form a Lorentz 4 vector. So in terms of uh, space-time structure, they behave as a 4 vector. However, each of the components of this 4 vector is a matrix acting on spin degrees of freedom. People sometimes get confused with the fact that we have four elements in a Lorentz 4 vector and with the fact that the gamma matrices are 4 by 4 matrices. In fact, these four and these four are not related. The first one comes from the fact that we live in, in four uh, space-time dimensions. The second one comes from the fact that uh, it acts on spin one-half fields, which have two degrees of freedom and to encode uh, Lorentz transformation for of this two degree of freedom. We need objects with four elements and these are four spinners. So whenever you see a p slash, a slash, b slash, um, this is a really short notation of something which has many components because we have a sum of four by four matrices. Also the Feynman notation is not limited to uh, standard four vectors. You can also have it for the covariant derivative. So it's quite common to express the Dirac equation and the Dirac Lagrangian with this notation. So let's calculate s slash squared, which is something we will need later on, where a is just a simple four vector. In particular, it doesn't carry any uh, spin degrees of freedom, so it commutes with the gamma matrices. So we have seen uh, this technique before. The trick is to uh, says that something is equal to half itself plus half itself. Where in the second term we swap uh, mu and nu because these are just dummy variables. We then use the fact that nu and mu commute. We saw that for a solution of the Dirac equation to be also a solution of the Klein-Gordon equation, uh, we need half of the anti-commutator of gamma mu gamma nu to be equal to the metric g mu nu which we can then use to raise one of the Lorentz indices of the 4 vector a. So we see that s slash squared is just a squared. So something which uh, has a lot of matrices, um, 4 by 4 matrices, um, at the end of the day is just a simple number.